Maisie, another good session on the track. How's the uh, the connection among the group at the moment? Uh, yeah, it's really good. We've got uh, so many so many good players who are pushing for senior selection. So, um, you know, training has picked up a level in Spice and um, it's good to see those second and third year players really turning into AFL players. And I think, um, yeah, it's only going to help us this year. There seems to be a real intensity among the group every sort of session. What's been the focus for you individually and then the group as a whole? Um, for me, for me, it's been a, just been about being ruthless and, and not losing contests, um, which is what I need to bring on game day. But um, that's also the backline focus. But um, Goody's give, uh, had a big focus on our defence and urgency. Um, so, you know, that's what we know you need to do, bring to beat the good teams. There's uh, obviously some new faces that have joined us since last season, some experienced and some of the younger boys. Who's impressed you the most? Um, oh, the ov- obvious ones is Brody Grundy. He's uh, he's like another midfielder. He's so quick, clean below his leg, uh, below his knees. I did. probably didn't realise that as much. Um, you know, playing for Melbourne against Collingwood, but training with him and working with him, he's been awesome. And Lockie Hunter, his football IQ is exceptional, and um, he's going to be a, a big asset to us on the other wing. Um, helping out Lingers, I think. Um, he's got really elite ball use and he's fit, so, um, you know, fits fits that bill really well. And obviously last week we announced uh, Gorney and, and Vines will continue as our um, captain and vice-captain in 2023. How important is their leadership for the group? Oh, I think, um, you know, with, with Chunk um, transitioning out, he, he sort of, uh, you know, led the way for, for Gorney and Vines and, you know, they've taken it with two ends and turned it a little bit into their own with their own bit of flavour, but um, they're exceptional leaders and, um, and great guys. I think um, they've got really good balance between having fun and working hard and they're probably the two hardest trainers out on the track, so they lead, that, lead the way there. So We're uh, edging closer to round one. I think we're only 47 days out now. How important is this sort of next block of pre-season in those preparations? Yeah, look, I can't wait for round one. I'm a bit over um, pre-season, you know, my year 13. It's, uh, it doesn't get any easier, believe me. It gets harder, if anything. And, um, but I think that cohesion now, like everyone's fit. Um, you know, the intensity's there now. It's going to be trying to pick our best team or our best squad of 25 and getting some chemistry and um, sorting out that round one side. I'd hate to be Goody and the coaches because there's so many young players pushing for selection and, and players who were probably injured last year who are coming back. So, yeah, it's really exciting times. Looking forward to it. Thanks so much. Thank you.